Dearly beloved brethren, we are gathered here today. Um, sorry, that's the that's the wrong speech. That's the speech I used on the occasion of Bob Santa Maria's month's mind. And if you don't know what a month's mind is, then in the words of the, of the prophet Bad, Google it, mate. So here we go again. Comrades, pissed, stoned, and others. I only recently heard from Greg Bearup that David Ma, my best bestie from the ABC Guardian Fairfax Axis, had died. Alas, I could not get to the wake you are holding this evening, which also, as I understand it, happens to be 75 years since David was born. I had other commitments since it's the feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, and also, yes, I wasn't invited. I recall David telling me that as a young man growing up on Sydney's North Shore in a Protestant family which didn't trust Catholics, and attending the Sydney Church of England Grammar School in North Sydney, he thought about entering Anglican Holy Orders. David, as an Anglican vicar, would have been quite a sight while it lasted. It could have led the Archbishop of Canterbury to come into regret that the Church of England abandoned excommunication at the time of the Protestant Reformation. When people ask me about my somewhat peculiar relationship with David when he was around, which attained visual form due to our occasional appearance on the ABC Insiders program in the past, I refer to his following virtues, David and frankness. On Monday, 1st of June, 2015, I opened my emails only to read a message from David Ma, which commenced as follows. On Sunday before Insiders, while I was giving you a rich and full account of what a weird shit I think you are. Now that's frankness. David and passion. On another occasion in the Insiders green room, an animated David berated me about a criticism I'd made of his book on George Pell. While doing so, he jumped up and down on the spot with both hands on his chest. It was like a boy on a pogo stick, except David wasn't a boy and he didn't have a pogo stick. And that's passionate. David and humility. Jared Windsor commented that just once in 562 pages of David's collected works did he admit to his mindset being challenged. A harsh judgment, I believe, since the number one is significantly higher than the number zero. Moreover, speaking at the 2022 Sydney Writers' Festival on the topic, I was wrong, David confessed to not one, but two mistakes in the past half century, namely misnaming a town and something to do with the family tree. Confessing errors, that's humility. I understand that David experienced a deathbed conversion back to his Protestant roots following repentance. It's true that God's a Catholic. However, in these ecumenical times, the Holy Spirit is somewhat soft on all Christians. So I expect David will have received immediate entry into heaven, where he will be granted admission to the next world's version of the corporate box. And there he will remain forever and ever and ever in admiration of the beatific vision. Seated on one side of Bob Santa Maria, with the vacant chair on the other side marked, reserved for Cardinal Pell. It's a life in the afterlife which David well and truly has deserved. If I were you tonight, comrades, I would drink to that. For my part, I prepared a Jamison's whiskey, Jamison's Irish whiskey, of course, and holy water, which I will soon consume. Vale, David, or as the Romans would say in pretentious Latin, requisat in pace.